curriculum vitae, which is a, a big resume. You'd agree with that, right? I hope so. Yeah, it's big. Um, that there is nothing in there about you being forensically trained or an expert in forensic psychiatry, neurology, or psychology. You'd agree with that? Objection not... beyond the scope, irrelevant. Overruled. Go ahead, ma'am. I am not forensically trained and never wish to be. And, and ma'am, uh, you have testified that I can tell as an expert witness uh, only two times in criminal matters in your career. Is that fair? Action beyond the scope, irrelevant. Overruled. Go ahead, doctor. So I have testified for competency to be executed in the case of Jane Billiot in 2008 at the state of Mississippi, and he has not been executed. And I've been retained. And, and ma'am, I'm not asking about retained. I'm talking about the times a court has said you are an expert in certain areas. OK. Uh, and in the case of Dominique Filipposian in 2000, a federal case uh, where the defendant uh, shot wounded a, post, a postal worker. I understand. Thank you. Uh, those are the only two cases in which a court has qualified you as an expert. You'd agree with that? Correct. One of them was, actually 2009, was Billiot, and that was about six years ago, you'd agree? Correct. And that had, um, that was not um, qualifying you as an expert to opine on sanity, but rather as you offered to us fitness for execution, correct? Objection. Relevance beyond the scope. Overruled. Go ahead, doctor. I did evaluate him for sanity as well. It was for competence for execution, but also review of previous uh, court record that related uh, to sanity. And in that case, you weren't qualified as an expert in neurology or psychology. Do you recall that? Psychiatry. Action, relevance beyond the scope. Overruled. Psychiatry. Just psychiatry. And then in the case where you actually were qualified by the court as an expert and you were allowed to render an opinion on sanity, that was uh, 15 years ago in the Philipposian case. Is that correct? Correct. And in that case, you were not uh, qualified as an expert by that federal court in either psychology or, um, well, I'm sorry, in psychology. In psychiatry, I was. It was in psychiatry. Mm -hmm. And to be clear, no, do you know the difference between a federal court and a state court, doctor? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, and we're in a state court. You'd agree with that? Yeah, oh, I know. And no state court uh, in the country has qualified you as an expert to weigh in on the issues of sanity. You'd agree with that? Correct. And you don't have any special training or expertise in Colorado law. You'd agree with that? Correct. Objection beyond the scope. Relevant. Overruled. I'm sorry, doctor. What was your answer? Correct. This would be, in the course of your long career, only the second time that a court has uh, allowed you to offer an opinion on the issue of uh, sanity, correct? Correct. And this would also be the very first time that you would have been qualified as an expert in psychology. Is that fair? Objection. I haven't asked that this expert be qualified in the area of psychology. Sustained. Oh, and he, he moved uh, to qualify her in psychiatry and neurology. Thank you. And thank you for correcting me, Your Honor, and Mr. King, I apologize. Um, would this be the first time you would have been qualified as an expert in neurology <coughs> by a court? Yeah, but I'm not asking to be, I'm opining on the psychiatric diagnosis and insanity, which is psychiatric. But you're, so you're not rendering any opinions on neurology, is that fair? Within the domain of neuropsychiatry, which is my expertise, because I was also trained in neurology, I will say that my background and understanding and qualification on brain function are beyond most psychiatrists. Okay. So I feel comfortable yeah. talking about brain function, MRI, because I've been trained in doing that. But my primary focus in the evaluation was on psychiatric, the psychiatric status. And, and clinically is what we're Clinically, 
a clinical neuropsychiatric evaluation. That's what I am. Okay. Can I have a moment, Your Honor? Yes. I'm sorry. I forgot to ask you. You don't possess any board certification, and you look like you knew what, you, what I was going to say. Correct. I, what was I going to say? You, you do not possess any board certification in psychiatry? Oh, I wasn't going to ask that, but do you? No. Oh, you're not a board certified psychiatrist? Correct. Are you a board certified uh, neuropsychiatrist? No. No, she's not board certified anything. And you're not a uh, board certified forensic fill in the blank anything? Correct. 